Um, this this is Connor Mullins, and the um, other lady is Tawana Jakes. So we got Connor Mullins and Tawana Jakes. So on February third of this year, um, February third of this year in um, Alabama. A 12-year-old boy was killed this week in Phoenix City. He was with his brother and another boy on the suspect's property when he was fatally shot. Connor Mullins, who just turned 12, and the others were on land that belonged to 50-year-old Tywona Jakes on Wintry Drive, off US 80. The land is across the street <laughs> from Jake's home and belongs to the Jake's family. <laughs> Russell County District Attorney Rick Chancy Friday said the boys were on the property about 6 30 p.m. Wednesday, apparently doing mischief, rummaging through stuff. When Jake's approached the children with a gun, Two of the boys started to run away, and apparently Connor bent down. Jakes fired a shot, striking the boy in the neck. He was pronounced dead on the scene. Chancey said there is no indication that Connor was armed. He also said there's no indication that the Jakes knew Jakes and the boys knew each other. Tawana. She said she shot. And I have a dead 12-year-old boy who was doing something he shouldn't have been doing, Chancey said. It's hard to digest. Tawana Jakes appeared in a Russell County courtroom Friday where the charges against her were explained. She is charged with capital murder because of the victims under the age of 14. Authorities are also investigating the incident where Jakes is accused of shooting someone else on her property in 2022. <laughs> no charges have been filed in that case. Jake told authorities Friday she will hire her own attorneys and was given 30 days to do so. So this woman, she saw some little teen on her property. She not, we're not talking about like in her yard. We're talking about like they own a big swath of land. And it, and this, this piece of land was across the street from her house. She saw these little boys. She came over there with a gun. Two of them ran. This one froze. <laughs> he froze. You know how you froze? You freeze. You see somebody coming at you with a gun. He froze. The other two ran. He froze. She shot him in the neck. <laughs> so Grandpa is in jail right now. But she's got 30 days. And she shot other people. But this was in February, so we don't. I gotta find out what's what's the update on this. But this was in February. You didn't hear about it because it was a black woman, and the kid was white. Well, yeah, but they, she still got thirty days. Grandpa didn't even get thirty days, man. He got one day. That was it. Yeah, that shit is that shit is crazy, man. Um, yikes, 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 man. When, when did this happen? February 3rd okay. of this year. She shot that boy in the neck, a 12-year-old in the neck, point blank range. She, she's still out. I'll, 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 I'll lay on she's out. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Um, okay, we got, we got, let me see. Let me see, let me go to Twitter. I think we got something on her, man. This is fucking, God damn. It's um, sad to say, but he showed weakness. By yeah, freezing. he froze, and she she had to shoot him, man. She her impulse, yeah, her um her son, her son, yep. her son impulses. Saw <laughs> weakness looks like she, looks like she's in. Looks like she's in there. By the, says, by the um, statement there. It says Phoenix City, Alabama. Fifty year old Tawana Jakes has been charged with capital murder for. 
Oh, this is the same day it happened. So this is she. This doesn't necessarily mean she's in jail. This just means that that day they had arrested her. Um, it says when the shooting happened, Mullins was with his little brother on the way to Dollar General to buy his favorite snack, Takis chips. And that's oh. that's what that's white privilege. Could you imagine if it was the other way around? A little black kid on his way to the Dollar General to buy some chips and a fucking white woman shot him? Well, they oh. already had that one with the, what was it, a Coke and some Skittles or whatever he had? Trayvon, yeah. Jesus Christ. Arizona iced tea. Or so this is, this, is, this is what her property. So this was across the street. Let me see. Okay, so this is where they were. And this is her property. This is her home. And it says, pick one is her house. Far enough back from the road. The second pick is a abandoned house across the for a four-lane highway. The kid was at least 40 yards from her house and 30 yards from her property. So this kid was literally across a four-lane highway. This is her house back here. She saw them across the street. This second pick is, is the other side of the street, the highway. They were over here. She came over there. Two kids ran. Connor froze, and she shot him in his neck. <laughs> Shit. Wow. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about this. I just learned about this the other day. And you know, you know what else? Think about this. She owned the property, and they probably live in a trailer. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Little fucking town, little fucking poor ass town. These gliders ain't got no fucking money, man. Um, yeah, man. Uh, fuck. She fucking. So she's in here, like, oh shit, who the fuck is that over there? She gets over there, sees his kids. The kids run, and she still smoked his ass. My God. Mm, mm, mm. Once again, you don't have to run fast. You just have to run faster than your friend. Yeah, definitely. Golly, man. Um Mm, 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 mm. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. We didn't hear nothing about this, man. So let's see. Google yourself now. Did she kill the kid or she uh she killed the kid, right? Well, that kid died. He died on the scene. He was dead on the scene. And she's still walking around? Well, does she, is she locked up still? Is she ain't locked up still. I, I don't know. I'm they, trying to find they out. Her, they gave her 30 days to get it to get an attorney. Was was she in lockup to get the 30 days to get the attorney or did, or did they let her out? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out because, um, yeah, these people saying they can't find any news on the story. Yeah, you can't find anything. There's not this. Look, it says um, Google search on April 17th, 2023 for Ralph Yarl 16 in the word shot. And you can find it. You can't find nothing for for this. Fifty result. Fifty results were found. All fifty mentioned race for Ralph Y'all. There were two results for this Connor, Connor Mullins kid, and zero mentioned race. <laughs> oh shit! We're, we're uh, gliders are done. Stick a fork in them. Wow. Wow. And I'm sure this is an unintended. 
I'm sure the left didn't think that um, conservative gliders had the balls to start pulling up stories like this. <laughs> you know, they they I I can tell you um, they they don't think y'all got they don't they don't see y'all as a formidable foe. The left sees um, conservatives kind of like um, like kind of how like the Chicago Bulls would look at like the Washington Wizards. The Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls would look at like the Washington Wizards. They don't look at you as like a like a a, a, a formidable foe because they didn't. I'm sure they weren't expecting y'all to come back with these type stories. I'm sure they weren't expecting this because this is dangerous for them, man. Because the the number of black on white murders are so fucking out of proportion. It's almost like 50 to 1, 100 to 1. I think, I think it's 85%. Right. What are you talking about? Of, of interracial murders or black on white. Oh, yeah. Something so, like that. So, yeah. So, it's like... Doesn't it if, surprise you, too? If you want to play this game, left, if the liberals want to play this game... No, because conservatives will get bored after a few days. Conservatives can't like Bud Light. They're already they're already bored with Bud. They were supposed to be, you know, boycott Bud Light. They already got bored with that. No, but um, you know what? You know what? Peter's on there. Peter's on them now because of the Clydesdales. So the left is turning on their own now. Yeah. So it's like it's like if conservatives really wanted to and wanted to say, "Oh, you want to play the tit for tat game with interracial murders." We just did like five last night when we did the gun memorial game <laughs> for this week. We did five from this week, just women, just white women getting killed by yeah, black. That was people. crazy. That was crazy. Yes, and we and we and we didn't even go through the whole gun memorial. We just went through like a, a, a scroll, one scroll down. <laughs> and listen, man, if if the gliders, if the conservative gliders had enough attention span and enough balls to go tit for tat, they could, they could, you got Elon there. You don't, you got Elon running Twitter, so you got a, a fair chance to get your, your tweet seen. Y'all could bomb Twitter with, I mean, because listen, today, as sure as the sun came up today, at least 10 sun men killed doctors today. <laughs> I mean, it's sure the sun came up. So y'all could just you start now. Y'all wouldn't even have to go back in time. Y'all could just start today or start tomorrow and start putting all the fucking sun, sun men that kill gliders or sun women that kill gliders, putting those stories online, and it would overwhelm the internet, man. Let's Ooh, start right now. Bar. I bet you if we went to the gun memorial for yesterday, we would see a bunch of fucking gliders that got killed. <laughs> Yo, man. But I, I think I think um gliders gliders are too pussy. Conservatives a conservatives a pussy, man. They'll do this shit for what? Let's say so Monday they'll be done with this. Monday, Monday it'll be over. The problem, the problem is, is that it, it's the belief system. In other words, conservatives basically want to be left alone, whereas right. left leftists want to take over the whole damn thing. Right. That's the problem. So you have you have a you have a war between some people who want to take everything over against people who just want to leave me alone. Yeah, that you will be left you alone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. His um. Wow. It says Connor Mullins was executed two months ago for stepping into his neighbor's yard, and due to lack of national coverage, they barely cracked three thousand for his funeral expenses. Jesus Christ! That's 3, not 000. that's not even enough for a pine box in uh, Potter's Field, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a Home Depot funeral right there, man. Shit. 
So Tawana Jakes was released Monday, April 3rd after making a $100,000 bond. So she on the streets. Well, she's got home. land. She was able to put up her land. Mm -hmm. Collateral. Yeah, she got land in this racist country, man. Um, yeah, she. so she on the streets. She on the streets. Tawana, man. Look how and, cold she looks. And she'll be on the streets. Mm -hmm. Wow. Shot that boy in the neck close range. Hey man, I was I was searching the uh Connor Rollins in the Google search bar right mm -hmm. now, and it's yeah, it's just those two uh two news outlets. That's it. That's crazy. That, that is it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's hey, it. Yo. That shit ain't gonna get no coverage. No, that's not. Salute to um, freshman. He says, Will Biden invite the family this boy to the White House? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, well, well, let's I, see. Go, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I actually, I, we spoke about this like a couple of streams ago, but I think you said you'll see like a, a noticeable collapse within like, I think I said like the next eight to 10 years. Mm hmm. I think we're both wrong. I'd like to lower that to uh, five to six years now. The more stories we keep going through, mm -hmm. I'm just like, yeah, no. It, especially now with uh, these kids getting shot. Um, yeah, I'd say like five to six years. Give it five to six years. Oh, it's not going to take 10 years, bro. It is mm. not at all. It's going to be so much quicker. This is just bad, man. She whacked that kid, man. That kid, that kid froze, man. He was terrified. He probably seen that son sister with that gun and fucking all types of like endorphins and fucking chemicals ran through his body and just froze his ass. And she said, What? Shot his ass, boom, right in the neck. He like fuck that shit. God damn. He said, here's an old black woman shooting a young white man. I wouldn't call him a man. See, this is the thing. They'll call a 12-year-old white guy a man. And, <laughs> and they call it that 16-year-old kid. They'll call, a 20, they'll call a 25 year old a kid. <laughs> they call this 12. They said, here's an old black woman shooting a shooting a young white man in broad daylight. In this recent shooting of a scholar ringing a doorbell at, was at 10 p.m. Connor Mullins, say his name, he actually died. Yeah. It, and then the, uh, this one, I did this story, um, Cannon Hennett. I did this, the Cannon Hennett story. I did that story. Um, that, was a, that was a brutal case from a few years ago. I want to focus on this one because the Cannon Hennett story was like that's a, that was a, probably two thousand black on white murders ago. Wow, she's home with a bunch of land in a white country, and that fucking goddamn white family had to fucking probably get that boy cremated because they couldn't afford to have his fucking have a funeral that they probably got his ashes on the fucking nightstand mm, mm, mm. in a coffee can <laughs> <laughs> yeah man shit man oh man oh man unbelievable man um, they, don't, they probably don't even. They probably don't even have a double wide. They just got a single. You know? Yeah. This is yeah. The, 